All right, turning our attention now to the latest on the push to get Americans vaccinated for COVID. We have seen a demand drop when it comes to vaccinations. Chris Sadegi joins us live from Fair Park in Dallas. Chris, when it comes to vaccine hesitancy, what are sites trying to do to fight that? Well, they're just trying to show the benefits of it, Mark. You know, we've been out here at Fair Park a lot during this vaccine rollout. But not a lot of people can say the same, at least not lately. This hub is actually going to reduce their hours, citing that there has been a decrease in people wanting to get vaccinated. They will be open from 8 to 5 today and tomorrow for first and second shots, but will be closed over the weekend. Then they'll also be closed on Tuesday of next week and closed next weekend. The reason they'll be closed more often is demand for the vaccine is starting to plummet in Texas, even though just a third of the state is vaccinated. We expected there might be some hesitancy among some to get the shot. Now we're getting to that point where that hesitancy is holding up the process, but CDC data says of the 86 million people in the country to get the vaccine, just 263 were later hospitalized for COVID. Dr. James McDevitt with the Baylor College of Medicine says that is a sign the vaccine is working and getting the shot is less risky than not getting it. The risk of the vaccines is far, far, far less uh, than the risk from COVID-19. So we just need to keep beating that drum. And on Tuesday, the state reported 57,000 people in Texas got their first shot. That is the lowest daily number that we have seen since late February. Mark, back to you. All right, Chris, appreciate the update. We are about three weeks away from President Biden's federal mask mandate on planes and airports ending. Meanwhile, the largest flight attendants union met yesterday to discuss that mask mandate and several flight attendants there expressed concern. They want that mandate to be extended through September. That's our poll question this morning. Should that mask mandate on planes and in airports be kicked down the road and 90 or rather 89% of you are saying yes, you would be in favor of that. 11% of you say no. You can continue to weigh in this morning by going to WFA.com slash vote now.